Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So glad that you could be here for this because this is an introduction to a new product for myself and I'm glad that you could be here. Oh man, click that subscribe button. There's all kinds of cool content coming up in the very near future. I don't want you to miss it. Also, if you enjoyed this particular video, give it a thumbs up. I'd very much appreciate it. But uh, anyway, like I said, this video is, is awesome. Or, or so I think. Uh, this is a new product. It's a new line that I've never been introduced to. I've known about it for you know since the beginning of time, and uh, it's just something that I've never really considered up until I got a discount. So, yeah, as you can probably tell by the title up here, and obviously even the thumbnail, we're taking a look at Tom Ford Oud Wood. Uh, sorry for the the lighting. It's it's that's just how YouTube works. You get a bright light and you put it in front of your face. But uh, I'll try to uh, you know help out a little bit. Tom Ford Oud Wood. This is the 30 ml bottle, one fluid ounce. This runs about 175, uh, and that is pretty high, especially for a 30 ml bottle. That is expensive. So um, yeah. Anyway. Let's take a look at the box. It's uh, very different. I've, you don't see many boxes that look like this uh, at all because, uh, I mean, where, is, is this how I open it up? Is the whole, is this the, the top? Is this the top? The big long part? Is that the top? Who knows? But looking at the back here, here's the ingredients list. If you want to pause the video and take a look at that. But uh, yeah, not only that, there's some more information right here. I'll show it to you again once I get the paper off or the plastic, the cellophane. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a nice like dark grayish color. Very, very beautiful looking. Honestly, truly, it's, it's um, the color and the silver, the silver font just kind of blends really good. And uh, yeah. One thing I will mention before we start tearing into the product, uh, you know, like I said, this is an introduction for me, and, and I was met with mixed reviews with this when I was Googling it. Uh, some people love it, they swear by it, and you know, it's you know, it's the best thing ever. Or most people, or not most people, but you know, a lot of people also think that it has a lot of performance issues. It doesn't last that long. It's not as pungent as they thought. You know, it, it, it just a waste of time, basically, and money. So it's kind of like 50-50 uh, based on my research, and I can't wait to try it. Uh, I'm going to let you know what I think about it in the comments below because I'm going to wear this all day tomorrow at my, at my job. We're going we're gonna to find out. We're going to see uh, what that performance is all about. But, you know, check the comments tomorrow. We'll check out, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what I think. But until then, let's get back to the video or the product anyway. Uh, so this, like I said, is Oud Wood, obviously. Uh, it's got, uh, it's supposed to have notes of rare Oud Wood, uh, you know, sandal wood, other types of wood, and uh, Chinese pepper. Uh, and I, you know, I don't know what Chinese pepper is, but apparently that's one of the notes in there. Uh, I was also told that this is a unisex fragrance, so that's also something to keep in mind. Because sometimes those unisex fragrances are um, very odd. They're very, uh, what do you call it, synthetic. They're very wild. They're just... They hit differently, is what I'm trying to say, because you, you there's a fine line between you know man's fragrances and woman's fragrances. You can drastically tell the difference for the most part, but then you start getting into unisex. It's like smack dab right in the middle, and sometimes it's hard to make heads or tails of it. But anyway, right there on the top is you know. God dang, that, that light. It says Tom Ford right here. But anyway, let's open it up because the plastic is doing me no justice. We're going to open this bad mother up and take a peek. Anyway, I can't. I, I mean, this is, this is wild. This is wild. I can't believe I'm doing this. But, uh... 
as I would imagine, if this, as I, you know, I said, I bet this is the top. Well, guess what? I was right. Uh, once again, now that the plastic is off, there's the ingredients list right there if you were interested and uh, some more in information. Uh, probably batch number and so on and so forth. But uh, yeah. You ready? Oh, wow. So, uh, you know, there it sits right there in its little pedestal. Uh, it almost looks like a pillar, <laughs> a small pillar that you would find on somebody's, like the edge of somebody's porch. Uh, you know, you're walking down the, the steps on somebody's porch. That's what this looks like. It just looks like the, the freaking, the pillar that's right there after the handrail. You, you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I'm making no sense. Uh, but there it is. It, it looks like a little bitty trophy. Now, the way I'm holding it, you know, first place. But, uh, yeah, let's pull this sucker out and, uh, wow. Anyway, the, uh, just check it out. Admire it. All the lines in the right places. Uh, it kind of has like a bowl shape on the inside. Uh, you can kind of tell it looks like a shot glass kind of cut on the inside. Uh, where the fragrance is, very, very wild. Uh, atomizer, just right smack dab in the middle. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, like I said, right smack dab in the middle, but I I've, I've also can't help but notice that uh, it doesn't go down all the way. So for this classy fragrance, you're probably going to miss a little bit. What the hell, Tom Ford? Fix it. But uh, yeah, we have this like almost grayish, blackish, greenish tint to the to the bottle, uh, and it, you know that really sets it off. The um, the silver on the back of the label on the front, it's really just kind of showing how of a greenish tint it has. It's very very wild. But uh, all in all, just looking at this bottle, it it's intriguing. Not to mention. I haven't showed you guys this yet, but this is, uh, there it is, Tom Ford, right with that silver, that silver, uh, top, I don't know, pretty neat, oh, oh gosh, I almost dropped it. But uh, yeah, the cap seems to be able to sit just fine. Um, there's no wiggling, uh, which is something that I kind of like in a uh, fragrance because wiggly tops just absolutely piss me off. And for what these cost, it's probably a good thing they don't uh, wiggle is what I meant. But yeah, atomizer, um, I mean, it seems to be very, very stiff. It, this thing is not moving at all, which I wouldn't expect it to. Uh, but the atomizer itself is uh, of a silver color, which I, I don't know. I guess I was assuming that maybe it would be like a little bit of a black or uh, some kind of transparent color to go along with the cap and the bottle. Uh, doesn't really matter, though. This thing is fascinating. But enough talking about it. Let's let's spray it and go from there. What do you think? Okay. Wow. Okay. So it does kind of have that classic unisex uh, fragrance. Uh, not in a bad way, though, because this thing smells really good. It has a very dark, almost kind of sweet smell. It does kind of have that that classic earthy wood type of uh, you know smell. A little bit of a musk. It smells very refined though. It's it's very sensual. I like it. 
Now, what I will say is an oud type of fragrance is a fragrance that you have to like. You can't just kind of like it because that's how people see it. You either like it or you don't. And and it's, like I said, it's like 50-50. You either enjoy an oud or you dislike it. That's the only way it could be. I'm not sure why, but it's true. So, yeah, so you get a lot of that oud that oud wood kind of fragrance uh, with other little earthy, woody type of fragrances, like a earthy, dirty wood type of fragrance. And then right there at the tail end, uh, you know, when you're finally you know, smelling it all in, you do kind of get of a peppery spice on the on the on the back a little bit. Uh, not too much though. So the, y your main focus on this is definitely, obviously, like an oud wood, uh, oud fragrance. So. Um, you know, and it says right there, it's, it's oud wood, so I, I wouldn't expect nothing less, but, uh, I'm still smelling it. I will say that it does slightly change in fragrance as it starts to dry down, but for the most part, it does kind of keep its integrity. Uh, it, it, uh, smells pretty similar to, you know, when it first is applied, but it uh, does kind of change ever so slightly when it dries. That's pretty much it. So let's start from the beginning. Let's, let's look at it from the beginning. We are taking a look at the actual packaging. So here it is. You know, you get, you, you're given this, this little box here. Very cool, very intriguing, very fascinating. I give, I give the box easily 8 out of 10. Uh, wicked, it's different, it's, uh, like I said, it's almost, uh, how do you want to say, it's like, um, hmm, it's innovative, it, it's, it's, you know, a lot of times you get a, a, a cologne fragrance box and it's just like you open it up at the top and it's got the little, you know, fold tabs and so on, uh, so this is different and I like different, so, you know, 8 out of 10 on that. Uh, bottle. Let's talk about the bottle. Also, with the box, this thing is a, like a, a an awesome fit for it. It fits perfectly. There's no wiggle room, and it it's it's on there good. You know what I mean? Like it's uh it's it's in there. But uh, bottle, like I said, it it kind of reminds me of like an old classic um, inner city step. You know, pillar thing at the bottom of the steps does that make any sense imagine you're walking down a concrete step and uh you know you got your rails going down the side that you run your hands down and then at the bottom that meets the street and sidewalk is is this you know on both sides that's what it reminds me of but anyway i'm being dumb uh it looks once again it's very different just like the box uh square but all the lines run in all the right places it's very symmetrical it looks good the dark color really sets it off and uh it's awesome it looks awesome nine and a half on the bottle can't beat that fragrance wise though i will probably give this an eight out of ten uh i do like very well done oud fragrances and I actually enjoy this I'm still picking it up so uh, it hasn't worn off immediately and uh, it's still I, I can smell it as I'm talking so that's good that means whoever you are talking to also has the pleasure of inhaling this so uh, yeah but like I said oud Fragrances are very specific. You either like it or you don't. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you think about Oud fragrances in the comments below. Let me know, do you have the Tom Ford Oud Wood fragrance? And uh, do you have, you know, any complaints about them? Do you have any complaints about this one in particular? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.